is Wednesday morning, Pastor Rob here. Uh, today I'm going to answer a question that I had about consulting mediums and Ouija boards and tarot cards and things like that. And I want to say the short answer to is it okay to do that is no, please don't do that because uh, uh, it's very possible that you could actually talk to a demon or some type of entity that does exist. Satan is a prince and power of the air in Ephesians 2.2. 2. Uh, and that's one danger. The other danger is just straight disobedience to the Word of God. So the reason I brought that up is because earlier I had talked about a couple days ago a woman that I spoke with who was going to see a seer, uh, a medium, because she wanted to talk to her mother. And I encouraged her, please don't do that. Um, if you're going to uh, talk to your parents or something in your mind or your heart or whatever, you can do that and just comfort yourself. But I told her, take the tickets that you paid for to visit that woman. Go to a church, lay those tickets on an altar, and say, God, I didn't know that I shouldn't do this. And and pray over that as a sacrifice, you know, kind of uh, to say, God, I'm sorry, I didn't know I shouldn't do this. I asked a pa uh, pastor, that was, that was me she was talking to, and I said, yeah, don't, just go to God. You have the ability to go to God. You can look at uh, Romans 8, and it says the Holy Spirit will make intercession for you. Uh, it searches your heart. Um, go to God. Lay those tickets on the altar, pray to Him, get comforted through the Spirit, and let God speak into your life. Specifically, one thing that I always notice is I always ask people, what does the Bible say? Do you know what the Bible says? And so common the answer is no. So if you're struggling, and, and I see this so, so often, people struggle because they don't know the promises of God. They don't read the Word of God. They don't read what God left us to know about Him. So therefore, they're defenseless and wandering in the world because they don't read the Bible. So my encouragement today is, number one, always read the Bible. Secondly, where did I get the scripture from? In Deuteronomy 18, it says this, 18 verse 10, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire or who practices divination. Yeah, back in the day, human sacrifice was a real thing. Uh, so he, he discourages that and secondly he says uh, practices divination this is your tarot cards this is your Ouija boards this is your fortune tellers or sorcery or interprets omens engages in witchcraft or cast spells or who is a medium or spiritist or who consults the dead anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord so don't play with Ouija boards it's not even it shouldn't even be fun I've, I've heard people say oh we do it for fun why don't do it don't go to fortune tellers don't go to Ouija boards don't even play with it stay as far away from it as you can I'll give you an example when Saul was selected king over the Israelites it says the Spirit of the Lord came upon him and he did everything God instructed him in the beginning but then oh actually he threw out all the mediums and, and sorcerers and fortune tellers out of the country but later on he got discouraged and, and basically that's easy to do when you get your eyes off God you get out of the reading of the word you get discouraged it's very easy and then you get distracted and then you'll go to things that you wouldn't you would do things that you wouldn't normally do Saul did that and basically disobeyed God and uh, not only did he do that he disobeyed God he went to a medium and, and then God took his spirit away from him, took the kingdom away from him. And God said, man, if you had just followed me and listened to me, I would have established your kingdom forever. But now I got to find a man after my own heart. And a great story to understand that is uh, when David sees the spirit of God leave Saul. The spirit of God leaves Saul because of his disobedience, because he saw a medium, because he turned his back on God. And the spirit then fell upon David. And in Psalm 51, David prays, Lord, don't take your spirit from me. Because he sinned with Bathsheba and Uriah. And you guys know that story. But in Psalm 51, and this is a psalm I tell everybody to pray. Pray Psalm 51 when you don't know how to pray for forgiveness. When you don't know what to pray. Pray Psalm 51. And David prays that prayer because from firsthand experience, he saw the spirit leave Saul. And he saw the devastation. And Saul eventually committed suicide. But just going through this, that's uh, Deuteronomy 18. Here's uh, um, now the Spirit of the Lord had departed. This is 1 Samuel 16, 14. The Spirit of the Lord left Saul and fell upon David. 1 Samuel 16, 13 and 14. Yeah, and an evil spirit then tormented him. Um, 
here's the other one. I just wrote these down. I just because I had this experience, and I always tell people, please don't do that. In 1 Samuel 28, Saul was discouraged. Terror filled his heart when he saw the Philistines coming at him. He says, find me a woman who is a medium. And then in 1 Chronicles 10, it says that 1 Chronicles 10, verse 13, that Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord and even consulted a medium for guidance. So the short answer today is, should I go to a medium? Is it okay? Uh, can I go to a tarot card reader? The answer is no. The Bible is very clear that you don't do that. And that's Deuteronomy 18. And you can read these things. And I'd be happy to give anybody my notes. Don't consult a medium. Consult God. Go to a pastor. Go to a mature believer that, that understands the word. That's going to point you to the word of God and the promises of the word of God. This is our instruction manual for life. Our love letter from God. If you want to know God, read the word. You don't need to go to a medium. So anyway, that's the lesson for today is can I consult a medium? The answer is no, according to the Bible. Uh, and Saul basically lost his kingdom, his vision, his strength, and his life because he consulted a medium and was disobedient to God. So go to God, pray in the spirit, read Romans 8, pray Psalm 51, uh, find a good solid biblical preaching pastor to talk to if you need that or a Christian believer that you trust. Talk to them first. And go to the Word of God for your answers. So that's the Bible study today. I hope everybody has a great day. Hope to see you tomorrow.